Hi folks, welcome back. I'm in Lima, Peru now, and this is my first video from South America. I flew Interjet from Los Angeles to Mexico City, and then from Mexico City to Lima, Peru. And uh, on the plane, they installed a camera at the front of the plane, so you could watch the all the way from the takeoff, uh, the whole flight uh, to the landing. This is Elena, who's a school teacher, and her mother, Carmen, who's a nurse, and they sat next to me on the plane. Fortunately, I got the window seat, and here's a uh, picture of us coming into uh, Mexico City. Here we are touching down in Lima, Peru, uh, a little before dark. It took me a few days to find a cheap place to stay, which I liked, and uh, I finally found this place called the Inca Hostel in uh, Bronco, which is only a couple of blocks from the beach for $13 a night. The hostel was owned by uh, Roberto, the tall man on the right hand side who's from Cuba, and Carla, the woman on the left, who's from Peru. The place is uh, very nice. <clears throat> the owners are very nice too and it's very clean and there are two lounges and two kitchens uh, three bathrooms uh, six private rooms I think and uh, one larger group room for uh, a lot cheaper but I didn't even price it because I wanted a single room this is the main uh, kitchen here and that's one of Carla's grandchildren who lives in another part of the building uh, they have a big extended family, uh, ten children, I think, in the family, and her, her uh, father and everybody lives in the, in the same building. This is Ali Hania, one of uh, Carla's sisters. This is two of Ali Hania's kids, but I don't remember their name. This is the upstairs, where the private rooms are. This is two backpackers that were staying at the hostel when I first got there, uh, Elena and I think her traveling partner's name was Mark. This is an old Spanish church in a park a few blocks away. I think there might have been a wedding at the church that day but I found this woman in the park and she was happy to pose for a picture. Lima's a little south of the equator so the days are pretty long and warm year round and this is one of the many flowering plants that you can see just walking around the city. Here's one of the local beach areas and the city provides the sun uh, umbrellas and the chairs for people so you just have to show up and grab a chair. Here's a picture taken uh, from the beach inland and there's a yacht club just to the left and as you can see there's a 200 foot cliff approximately that you have to uh, climb to get back up into town. All the buildings in Lima are masonry. You won't find a wooden structure anywhere which of course reduces the fire hazard a great deal unlike California where most of the houses are burning up and because of the uh, uh, wildfires. There are a lot of old buildings in Lima and foreign investors are buying these buildings up just as fast as they can and converting them into uh, apartments and condos like this building right here. As a matter of fact, Roberto and Carla have sort of adopted me into their family and given me the opportunity to invest in their hostel if I want to. This is Pachacama the closest megalithic ruins to Lima which are just outside of town along the coast. It only costs four soles to uh, ride the public bus from Bronco where I'm at to Pachacama and that's a little over a dollar. This is Marcos, a guy from Brazil that's staying in the hostel and he and I decided we would take a trip uh, down to Pachacama on the bus the other day. Unfortunately, when we got there, we discovered it was closed uh, because it was a Monday, and a lot of things in Lima are closed on Monday. 
we're going to make another trip though tomorrow or the next day and I'll take some pictures and some, some do some magnetic measurements and then I'll put out another video after that. I'm going to be moving all my megalithic research videos off of YouTube uh, but I'll let you folks know where they're going to be uh, as soon as I decide. I guess. That's it for this video folks. Take care and I'll see you next time.